Hello everybody, I'm Chris and I'm in a car. It's Car Chat with Chris. I have so much to talk to you guys about. I'm, I miss you guys, I've been gone. I was down filming a whole bunch of other videos for uh, my other channel, but uh, I'm back and I got so much to talk to you guys about. Um, and so, so let's get into this. First, I gotta tell you this cute little thing that happened with Miles. We got an email uh, from Miles' teacher and Miles' teacher sent this. So I just had to email you this. Miles wrote a story and, it's, and on the cover of the story, it says, Story by Miles Provost. Written by Miles Provost. Edited by Miles Provost. Illustrations by Miles Provost. <laughs> I love it. Yes, he did it all. And he should get credit for doing all that work. I think it's great. All right. So when this last year we went to we went to Rome and it really had an effect on Amanda and why we were there in Rome we were going to tours we learned a lot about Christianity and they were teaching about like Christians there and also pagan and the thing about pagan is it kind of has a little bit of a negative context when you hear pagan people think it's like ah oh, like something but really pagan's not negative pagan um, is just what was really before Christianity right the beliefs that people had before them and so. Amanda has been learning about it because, and today, um, she this morning before school, she had a lesson. That's right. We had a, we had a, Miles and I had a lesson on Yule. That's Y U L E, and today is the first day of Yule, and it was this pagan holiday, and we we'll just call that an ancient holiday because pagan sounds so negative sometimes, but it's not. But they had the twelve days of Yule. And then when Christianity came along, they took the 12 days of Yule and turned it into the 12 days of Christmas. But today is the first day of Yule and it's called Mother's Night. And on the first day of, on the first day of Yule, um, you were supposed to honor your mothers and also Mother Earth. And the way that you honor uh, your mothers is you're supposed to break, make like little biscuits or cookies or bread and you leave that for your mother. Leave, like you know how we leave cookies for Santa they just kind of take it from that but um, so it's to honor your moms and so tonight Amanda and I and Miles will be making some cookies and uh, for our moms and and um, also to represent the earth just something she likes to do she likes to to do this I think it's really cool but the story is the story of the day of is for the first day of Yule is that uh, there was these four doors on the north, south, east, and west, and they opened and closed really fast, and they're way up high in the sky. And they and the people were living down here. And then this the sun. This is just a very abbreviated. The sun went out, and when the sun went out, they're all living in darkness. But there's a hummingbird, and it spied to the north that one door was opening up, and closing really fast up high in the sky, and it thought it saw some light behind that door. So the hummingbird was getting ready to fly, but it knew it was like so high in the sky, but it was like, I, it was scared to do it, but it was in a pitch black, but it, it was like, you know what, I have to do this. So the hummingbird flew up really high in the sky, up into the north, and that door was opening as rapidly as the hummingbird's wings. Do, 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 do. And it darted in and got in through, and there was fire behind that door, and it took that fire and it tucked the fire underneath its like bill and right there on its breast. <laughs> and then it heard something chasing it, but it doesn't know what it was. <laughs> and it flew as fast as it could back uh, through the door, back to earth. And then it threw the fire back and it reignited the sun and brought the sun back. And that's why hummingbirds, all hummingbirds have a little bit of red, like right here, is because they were holding the sun there and brought a sun. So Yule is kind of the separation of like celebration. I just like that story. But you, the whole point of Yule is, is that, you know, December 21st, it's the longest day of the year, they call it, or the shortest day of the year. I'm sorry, the shortest day of the year, but it has the most amount of darkness, right? The sun sets the low at uh, the earliest, and, and so you just get a lot. But that the celebration of Yule is the returning of the sun. The sun's coming back, is that uh, you, we celebrate that we we're getting the day's light it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter and now it's coming back and we're getting more and more and more sunshine and so today's the first day of yule and amanda just bought this book when we were in rome i guess i think and just kind of talked about it so i just think it's really cool i learned about it today so i wanted to share that with you i just i like learning i think it's kind of cool so today's the first day of yule it's mother's day so if you want you can uh you should talk to your mom and also uh, have a little 
gratitude for Mother Earth or Earth in your heart. Or And if your mom's not around, maybe just, if your mom doesn't be around, you bake cookies and you leave cookies out for uh, your mom. And even if they've passed, it's a way to honor them. Oh, you guys, it is a long, long line. You know what? I'm, oh, jeez. Do you know why it's a long line today? Uh, I mean, it is long. I am out in the middle of the street. It's super long because it's ex, it's it's a sticker day, um, and it's a special sticker. They have special stickers. People go nuts for these stickers. I am out in the street, but oh, there's two lines. I just think that they probably haven't gone. People haven't gone to the shorter line, so I'm gonna get around this corner. And if it is, I might just drive past it. I hate doing that though. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. But anyways, I got my sweet dog, Cabo. She's down here in, this, in down here. Oh, hi, hi. You ready to get a little puppuccino today? You are? Yeah? Yeah, okay, let's do it. All right, they're pulling forward. Oh, the line is moving a lot. Let's see here, let's see. Yeah, nobody's in their line. Ugh, I'm going to their line. Okay, but other cars are coming. Hold on. Oh, see here. Hold on. I can't go there because um, other cars are coming. Yep. Yeah, now a whole bunch of cars went or walked over, went over to it. Smart cars, smart cars. Figured it out. So yeah. So I learned about Yule today from Amanda, and uh, they're having a celebration, making some cookies. So yeah. Anyways, glad to be back. I missed you guys. I was down in California doing a lot of filming down there, getting some stuff, some videos ready to go. And um, and then I am back, back, we're back, and excited to be back and be able to have this. I enjoy these videos. These videos are kind of fun for me, and it's kind of, it's fun for me to do. And I am going to decide what I'm going to order. I'm gonna turn the camera off, and when I come back, I will have my order in mind. Mine was so long, all the way out the street. Yeah. It it's not too bad. Though. Not too bad. I've worked busier like Saturdays. Have you? Stuff. All right. The summer gets real, Does it? real bad. Let's do it. I need to do a, a puppuccino. Of course. A little pup cup. And I'll walk up with you. So I'll also on your little post it note. I do. So this is it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, Fireball shot extra sweet cookie with coconut soft top sugar sprinks. Do you know what milk based? I think it's oat. Oat. Okay. Iced, I'm assuming. Iced, medium. Medium iced. Okay. Yeah. I'll put it in. Oh. I feel like Emilio influenced this probably. Most likely. Most likely, no. Or Parker. Parker, it's just insane drink sometimes. Really? I don't, I let him put it in. I'm like, I don't put it in wrong. I should tell it to me. Perfect. Anything else for you? That is it. You know what? I've had more complicated things. Oh, well, so, I guess I got up my game. Here, I'll walk up with you. Oh, no, my white coffee drink is probably the most complicated. What is yours? So... My, let me see the flavors. So my white coffee is a white coffee breve. I normally get a medium iced. Yeah. With ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, hazelnut. Uh. Let's do that one. Cinnamon. You want to do it instead? Yes. It tastes kind of like French toast. Oh my gosh, a French toast drink. Yeah. Yes. They're gonna hate me, but it's fine. We'll do it. Don't you know what? But it's half a scoop of each flavor, so. Very sweet. I love it. 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 You need to write this down and post it up for me then. I know. It's, here, you can take a picture on your phone when I'm done. Okay. But, I'll take a picture on my phone so you have the, the, the recipe. Yeah. Do you sure pull forward? Yeah, we'll keep going. Okay. I'm going to go all the way up. Oh my gosh. French toast drink. So no not the fireball anymore. This is the new show. This is the new drink. Okay, hang on. 
All right, guys, this is a brand new drink, and so I'm gonna have to figure it out. Uh, I don't have the little post-it note. Uh, for those of you kind of new to watch this channel, is that a lot of times the broistas here at Dutch Bros will make up new drinks for me and um, off menu. And so this is off menu drink, and it's supposed to be very sweet, not very dairy, and it tastes like French toast. So, <laughs> How can you not like it? I'm excited. I'm very excited for it. Let's pull up here. Oh, she. She's waiting to go, and I'm waiting to pull for it. Hey, I haven't hey. seen you forever. Hi, Hi guys. How you doing? Good. What do you think? I think just mixed in would be good. Just mixed in. So, is your sister here? Yeah, she's actually right there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so, I was going to say, you're my favorite, but... No, don't say it. Now that she's it. here, yeah, I can't no, say I that. Did you get the pop cup? Okay. Yeah, the pop cup. Yeah, what are you doing here during the daytime? Um, someone asked me to cover their shifts. You're like, fine. And I said, sure, I guess. If you really need me that bad. You're like, I'll do it. Wait. You're my favorite. What the heck? Why would you? <laughs> it's because I make it drinks better, too. Look, it's okay. I understand we've only had, like, what? This is our second This is our second interaction. interaction. Yeah, exactly. We, well, we, go, we go way back. We do go way back. Well, we're going to go way back. I like that. He won't, because he can only wake up this early once a week, if he's lucky. Fair so, enough. I still called him at 5.45, and I was like, I'm just making sure you're awake. I'd woken like, up 15 minutes before that. He was like, what do you mean? Of course, I was like, okay. I was just making sure. Wait a minute. Is where the I mean, there's a sticker though? Are they out? No. Because, no, we have stickers. Is that why this line is insane? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly why. Do you want some stickers? Yes. I've got to. Just because I like you, I'll give you three. <laughs> but don't tell them. I won't do you tell them. Try? Yes. Okay. Look, don't worry, because in like 15 years, yeah. technology's got I love that you drive a stick by the way. That's so I, I yes. love driving sticks. Me too. It's so it, it's more like engaging, I feel like. It's more fun it's fun to drive. Uh -huh. I love it. And yes. it makes it easier to not get on my phone. 100%. Yeah, because 100%. I have to like focus on yes. shifting yep. and everything. Perfect. So. Um but I was gonna say in like 10, 15 years, when technology's advanced you'll get an implant, like a chip in yes. your brain, and it'll implant memories of us to you, so then you'll feel closer to me. And then I can be like your like official favorite. I do like it. Did I'm they glad. mix this in and then in? They did, yeah. They mixed them in. Well, I put a shit ton of it, I make it. It's very good. I'm glad <laughs> so, you like it. You know what? Well, I, was, I told him like two of the flavors, and he was like, let's do that instead. I was like, this is really good. Um, you know, in 15 years, I won't have to have the implant, because we'll just have all lots of big memories by then. It's true. It's true. So, true. yeah, there it I'm is. I'm excited, though. All right. <laughs> See you. Bye. Oh, my gosh. I love them so much. Mm. All right. I got a lot going on here. So, hang on for one second. Oh, super cool sticker today. Rebel without a claws. That might be, my, I think, one of my favorites. I love the red. Okay, I have to turn right. And this, all right, I will try to figure out what it is. I took a picture. She let me take a picture of the of the order screen, but there's a little bit of glare when I took a picture, so I'm not sure if I can see it all. If I can, I'll put it down in the description down below of everything that this drink is. This drink is super sweet, super, super sweet. And it tastes like cinnamon French toast with nutmeg like it's a cinnamon nutmeg french like you know um you know when you get a, a, a french toast and i don't want to say soggy because i'm not it's not soggy but you know those french toasts that are super good but they're not like they're not like the crust isn't really hard it's like they're like soft super soft and they're drenched in butter and they have a lot of syrup on it and you just eat it and it just tastes very, very good. That's what this type of French toast tastes like. Anyways, 
Happy first day of Yule. <laughs> Excuse me. As a man who teaches me more about it, I'll teach you guys more too. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.